Hi, I'm Nia. Welcome to my hair journey. I'm sorry, it is just really cold. Okay, Google, how cold is it outside? It's 75 degrees in Miami right now. So, just kidding, it's not that cold. I mean, after I saw what temperature really is, I realized I was being quite dramatic, but I mean, 70 degrees is a big thing big thing because we get like 100 degree weather, weather 200 days out of the year so hey I like this temperature as long as my feet aren't cold and they're really cold right now so I always wanted to do transition uh, transition videos but I felt like you know no one's gonna watch them but then I started looking around on YouTube looking at people who are transitioning and realized that nobody does them this early into their transitioning they usually like Usually I see a transition video and they're like 10 months post, 6 months post, like I don't really see that many videos that relate to me and I'm wondering how many girls see videos or guys that see videos who are transitioning that don't relate to them. Um, so I'm going to show you guys some pictures of how my journey has been. These first pictures are from um, about a year ago. This is from October 14th, 2013. Um, I just got to relax that day. A couple weeks later and it's, and it's Halloween and it's about shoulder length. In the previous picture I had just got it cut. And this is pretty much the same day. So it's November 1st today. These pictures are exactly a year ago. And this next picture, it was taken in March of this year. So you can see like my hair grew. It pretty much stayed this length until you know I started transitioning. And lastly, this one's from today. You can see some of my curls here. As you can see, it pretty much became every time I shower and wash my hair, take a picture. And I think that also made me consciously realize how many times I wash my hair. There was a big chunk of time about two months, August, I didn't wash it at all because I had got this really cute hair. My mom got it for me. It was expensive because it's human hair and it's long, but I loved it and I was gonna wear it for the rest of my life. <laughs> but a month after getting it, well, two months after getting it, I went to the beach. This picture actually was when I was going to the beach and the beach water with the curls and me not taking care of it before really messed it up and I had to take it out. So I obviously couldn't wash my scalp then, but after that came out, it was like, if you can see, I wash my hair like less than every week. And when I started taking the pictures, it was like, wow, you really, you really wash your hair a lot. And I became conscious of like how many times I washed it. Like, is this really necessary? Oh, my hair's itchy. Let's go wash it. I try to take a picture every time I washed it. This pretty much just looks like a jumbled mess. I mean, you can see some of the curls, but... I, the next pictures, I kind of drew on them so that you could see the curls better. And I pointed some out. And when I take off the drawings, much more clear. And here, the snake looking thing is actually a group of hair. Like a defined group where you can see the line of demarcation. And then once I brush my hair down, the line of demarcation also. And now I'm gonna show you pictures of some of my favorite transitioning hairstyles. So when I first started, the sock bun was the cutest thing, but then it became really hard to pull my hair all together. So now I just go for that really easy to do fold over after you do a ponytail bun. And I like flat, um, flat twist out, but 
the thing with this is that your hair has to be wet mostly for it to work my hair being wet doesn't it doesn't dry so it doesn't come out all that curly flexi rods really cool thing to do 100% love flexi rods the bantu knot out turned out really good on my hair this time but this time it still came out okay but not the same look I was going for like I got the first time and then the fake mohawk style I really like it because it's so I don't know I just I like it <laughs> believe it or not I have tutorials for all of these I don't know I sit in front of my computer every time I do my hair and I make videos I just never put them up because editing them takes so much time and I'm a la lazy person but hopefully I'll get around to you know putting them up soon I don't know probably not cuz like I get busy but yeah um thanks for watching I hope you subscribe and like and comment give me your thoughts um yeah, so this is four months post and I'm out.